bump is all it took. Ties between the United States of America and Saudi Arabia are now back on track. In fact, they've begun flourishing. Washington has just approved arms sales worth about $5 billion to two nations in the Middle East. These are Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. From being called a pariah to now getting billions of dollars' worth weapons, Saudi Arabia has really won the game against Washington. The UAE, meanwhile, has emerged victor as collateral. The Biden administration on Tuesday approved multi-billion dollar weapon sales to both Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. To Saudi Arabia, the US State Department has approved the sale of 300 Patriot missiles in a deal worth $3.05 billion. To the United Arab Emirates or the UAE, Washington has approved a deal worth $2.25 billion for 96 Terminal High Altitude Area Defense or THAAD missile rounds. The State Department said that the sale to Saudi Arabia would help the Gulf Kingdom defend, and I quote, its borders against persistent Houthi cross-border unmanned aerial system and ballistic missile attacks on civilian sites and critical infrastructure. In the case of sale of THAAD missiles to UAE, the State Department said the deal will, and I quote, support the foreign policy and national security of the United States by helping to improve the security of an important regional partner. The Biden administration had, in its early days, pledged to cut off weapon sales to both Saudi Arabia and the UAE because of their offensive in Yemen. A lot has changed since. For example, Washington now needs Saudi and Russia-led OPEC Plus to increase oil output to bring down global crude prices. So far, Saudi Arabia has refused to oblige the United States' repeated requests. Joe Biden's Middle East tour of last month, though, marked the beginning of a thaw in ties between Riyadh and Washington. The arms sales to both Saudi Arabia and UAE come after Biden met Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and other Gulf leaders last month. In fact, the US president also extended an invite to the UAE's ruler, Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, to visit the United States soon. Russia's growing clout over the Gulf nations and its control of OPEC Plus along with Saudi Arabia is what seems to have convinced the White House that real politics must trump morals and principles. You see, the Biden administration was hoping that it could somehow reinstate the nuclear deal with Tehran. However, Iran has made demands which Washington is not keen to accept. Negotiations between the two sides have hit a dead end and the US now wants Iran's rivals, Saudi Arabia and the UAE, to get armed to the teeth. How will the United States' U-turn on Saudi Arabia and UAE